Fixer 1 to Fixer 2. Come in, Fixer 2. Fixer 1 to Fixer 2. Come in, Fixer 2. Fixer 1 to Fixer 2. Come in, Fixer 2. Fixer 2 here. KK, where are you? I've been looking for you and that land speeder that you stole all morning. I didn't steal the land speeder. I thought it had a bad motivator unit. I just took it out for a test drive. Well, hurry up and get back here, because we've got a teardown to do. OK, OK. I'm, I'm swinging by Tashi Station to pick up a few more power converters, and then I'll be right there. All right, well, we'll see how long it takes her. Come on, Pebs, let's get ready for the teardown. So where are those power converters you took so long to uh, go get? <laughs> Yeah, I forgot them, okay, but fine. I remembered lunch, and that's more important. Priorities, I guess. Yeah, uh, so that's okay. But it's May the 4th, so happy May the 4th, May Star the Wars 4th fans. be with you. Uh, you might have seen our lightsaber teardown that we've done in the yeah, past. Yeah, that was really cool. We tore down an exact replica of a lightsaber, and today yeah. we have a real-life land speeder that we're going to take apart. This is an X-34 land speeder. You know it's real life because it's really big. Uh, and it actually really hit, like, <laughs> hauls, so uh, I was doing some donuts in the parking lot and I actually got, I, I brought it to light speed and I got it to drift. So okay. the first thing with the this land speeder, it's probably gonna have bigger bits, so we'll need a bigger driver. Um, luckily, we actually just came out with our new Mahi driver kit and there's a quarter inch driver in there, so I'm just gonna unlock that there. And, oh, there we have lift off. Nice. Always the disconnect first. the battery. So with battery disconnected, I think, these might lead either to some of the motors or some of the steering wheels out. Let's uh, right. just grab the driver and get the battery out. Thank you. Yeah. So it looks like this battery is a 12 volt, 12 amp hour lead acid rechargeable battery. Uh, that should keep you driving for about 30 minutes of normal use. So with the battery out and all the cables disconnected, we've got two screws in here that I think we'll tackle next and hopefully that'll lead us to the motors. We'll see. Yeah. Good. This seems to be as far as we can go with getting the motors out from this side. We might have to flip it over and come from underneath, but let's get more of this plastic off. Now, let's see if we can take off our oh. turbine oh, engine. There yeah. it is. So that is the uh, one of three of the turbine engines on the lane speeder. I think with the so. one screw oh, done, there it goes free. And it looks like everything else is held in place with clips. Yeah, nice clips. Come Maybe we should this. flip it over. Yeah. Should we go from the other side? Let's flip it over. All right. So we have lots of screws, which is good. We can get into this thing from underneath. The other side. How yeah. about you tackle the left, I'll tackle the right, and we'll see Ooh. what we can get into. That's <laughs> good, let's go. Almost. If you take a jimmy and you can pry the hubcap off. Oh, cool. And then there's another bolt in there that we can remove to hopefully get off the rear wheels. I'm gonna hold on to this side. She's gonna hold on to that side. I will give this a twist. It's close. It's so close. Oh, nice. success. Sweet. And it's uh, really greasy and sandy, which is great. <laughs> Hearing some screws get lost, but that's okay. And our motors are tires are free. We've got our two little DC motors with the gearboxes attached. All right, so as we can see on the side of the land speeder, it is held together with some plastic clips. Yeah, so clips are great for assembly, but not for reassembly, because they're only one direction. Nice. Oh. Nice. Finally. This entire perimeter is secured down with clips and they're incredibly hard to get off. Uh, we didn't even get them all off, so we're gonna... Yeah, we flipped it back over, but I do want to check out the transmission communicator, galactic communicator yeah, thing on the, here. Yeah, it's the component that holds the galactic FM radio, the transmission, and some fun knobs. Yeah. Uh, I think there's more clips uh, to get this box out, of course. but uh, let's see if they're as difficult as uh, the other ones were. Oh, oh no, go. no, for once. The oh, yeah, it comes right out. Look, it's his whole own unit. It looks like this board is home to all the LEDs that light up the buttons on the front of the box and also the tactile buttons themselves. 
Inside this black box, you can see the two switches that change the land speeder's gears. And it's kind of cool how it works. You have these white plastic knobs that rotate and trigger these larger switches that change the gears. And the last thing out is the speaker that's soldered to the same board that's home to the LEDs. Well, that's all for this teardown. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like we took very much apart, but we, we definitely did. did. Yeah. But okay, time to talk repairability. Okay. How repairable overall do you think this thing was? What score would you give it? Um, I think I'd give it a six out of 10. We should bring KK back, right? <laughs> definitely, right? All right, and, well. Uh, may the fourth be with you. Always. Always. See you later.